Hi everyone, today I want to share a look at the ROG Ally, dual booted with SteamOS and Windows 11, and also another ROG Ally, running Chimera OS. We're going to take a look at what works and what doesn't work on both of these systems, as well as taking a look at several games playing on both devices. These are both the closest we can get to having SteamOS running on the Ally and transforming the device into a Steam Deck 2 or something that resembles a Steam Deck. On the first Ally, I have Hollow ISO installed from fresh, logged into my Steam on one partition, on the internal drive, and have created a separate partition for Windows 11, which contains Armory Crate and is updated with the latest drivers. I am managing both systems via the Refined Bootloader, which, if you're looking to dual boot your Steam Deck, I have many videos on how to achieve this. But, for the Ally, I did need to manually configure and install this through Windows 11. Currently, the bootloader only detects input from a keyboard plugged in via USB-C, so we can select between both operating systems. In the future, we will have D-pad support working here. Alternatively, we can boot into the BIOS and choose our operating system to boot from there. When we log into SteamOS Hollow ISO, we will have the same gaming mode we know and love on the Steam Deck, except on the Ally we don't have trackpads, and we don't have the Steam or Quick Access menu buttons, so we are restricted to using the touchscreen to navigate through our settings menu, and also the Quick Access menu, by pressing the battery symbol. We won't be able to get any monitoring for the Z1 Extreme family, and when we run games, we'll be presented with completely wrong information outside of our FPS counter. I've tried TDP controls such as Ryzen ADJ, Simple Ryzen TDP, and power controls manually installed to Deki. None of these work, so we cannot at present unlock the full potential of the Ally when we run games. And we're relying on the BIOS solely for performance. We can see from system in settings that we have SteamOS 3.4 installed under Hollow ISO and also the Z1 Extreme chip is being detected alongside its cores. When we go into Deki we can see that I've managed to install a bunch of plugins, my favourite being Vibrant Deck, which the SteamOS gaming mode looks fantastic with the alloy screen and I really hope that we can get everything else working in the future, which I'm sure the community will be able to pull something out of the bag. Next, let's switch over to desktop mode briefly, where you can see we can still get our KDE desktop like we're used to on the Steam Deck. We get the Discover Store, where I've downloaded Firefox, Proton UpQt, EmuDeck, and I've also managed to install Cryo Utilities. Next, I want to share a brief look at the second ally I have here running Chimera OS 42, which is the latest stable build at the time of this video, downloaded from the main website. We can see that gaming mode looks exactly the same. We need to use the touch screen to navigate through SteamOS sidebar and the quick access menu. Going into settings again, we can see the Chimera OS build, as well as the Z1 Extreme chip being picked up again. Something that I've not seen a lot of people showing 
is the desktop mode for Chimera OS, which is very different to the one we're used to on the Steam Deck running KDE, as we are in fact running a GNOME desktop, and certain parameters and commands will be different. We do have a different store, where we can download tools, utilities and emulators like Discover on SteamOS, but the one thing I wanted to focus on here is the absence of Deckyloader working, which, when installed via the console, we will see it appear in gaming mode, but none of our plugins work unfortunately. Interestingly, Deckyloader did work for me on Chimera OS the first time I installed it, but it looks like the recently released 2.10 version isn't working here since I tried again. With our monitoring in Chimera OS, we can see more information than before in Hollow ISO being picked up when we play games. It does seem that most of the time the GPU is locked to 800 MHz and we're only getting between 10 to 15 watts out of the device by default. When I installed Chimera OS for the first time, I was able to get Deki working alongside power control and played Resident Evil 4 Remake with higher wattage and improved performance, and did manage to capture some raw footage, but due to Deki being broken for me on Chimera OS, no matter what I tried, with unstable builds, pre-release versions, wouldn't work for me again on either BIOS 317 or 319. Another quick thing I'd like to mention is that Dual Boot will not work for Chimera OS, as stated on their website, and I hope this is something that could change in the future, as it would be great for users like myself to be able to switch between both systems on the fly. The current issues to keep in mind that aren't working on the Ally across Chimera OS and Hollow ISO are the volume controls, fingerprint reader, TDP, Steam and quick access menu buttons, the sound from the speakers, meaning we need to have the sound plugged in via the headphone port or USB-C. Bluetooth doesn't work, and Wi-Fi and Rumble also does not. The community and relevant teams are working hard to get these features working, and as soon as they do, I'm sure we will see a lot of cool things coming out for Linux on the ROG Ally. And I think that's all the time we have for today and I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I really just wanted to share my findings with you all on the state of Linux, SteamOS, Hollow ISO, Chimera OS, and some kind of dual boot on the ROG Ally, and set expectations across the board. But it's definitely exciting times for the handheld Linux scene overall. So, until next time, thank you all for watching, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later.